In this video we're going to create a silent uninstallation script to uninstall Google Chrome browser and we're going to do it in PowerShell. So first we need to find out the uninstall command and for MSI that's always MSI forward slash X. But let's find out from the registry. So we'll open the registry by going regedit and say yes. And now it's already at the good uh, location. Let's pretend it is looking like this. So if you have followed along our previous videos, we have already favorite this location where to find it. But let's uh, pretend we haven't done that. So first of all, is it installed under user or machine? It's under C program data. So we have to go under the machine hive. And then here we have to go under software. And then we have to take into in consideration, is it a 32-bit or 64-bit software? If it's a 32-bit software, we have to go under Windows on Windows 64-32 node or WAV 64-32 node and then go there. But no, we have installed the 64-bit, so we will not go under there. So we can go under software and then it's Microsoft. And under Microsoft, it is Windows, so I have to scroll pretty far, very far, Windows here. And under Windows, it's current version. And on the current version, we have to scroll very far down to uninstall. So what you see here are all the software that it's installed that are 64-bit, and they also show up here in apps and features. So when I click on uninstall here, if I would do it manually, it actually go here to the registry and find Google Chrome and run the command, the same one we're gonna to use for our script. So since it's an MSI installation, we will just see the GUID here. So I don't know it by heart, or actually I know it start with 61, but let's find it. So we can do a control F once we're here in uninstall, and let's search for Chrome. So now after the search, we have found, and it, yes, it starts with 61, and here we have found our Google Chrome. Let's look for the uninstall string key, and here we actually have the value that we can use for our script. So I'm gonna copy this one. Let's right click and copy. So now we have our value. Let's start to create the script. So I'm going to be using Notepad++, you can be using Visual Studio Code, Atom, or your favorite editor. So start here. Let's start to create, I'm going to paste what we have so we don't lose that. So here it's going to be the uninstallation string and it's not going to run like that in PowerShell. Let's create a comment with a hash sign and then put purpose. So this we do for ourselves, for our future self when we will look at this script or for someone else reading it. So this is uninstall Google Chrome. And it's very important that when you do this uh, GUID that it's unique for the, this MSI, it's only for this specific version we're installing for. So I'm gonna add the version number there also. Purpose, then we can put another one. And I'm just gonna save this one so we get the formatting. So I will do that with Control S. And we wanna put the uninstallation in the source folder. So we have previously already done the installer there. So here under source, and I'm gonna change the TXT type to all files, and I'm gonna be lazy. I'm gonna select the install file and just change the beginning from install to uninstall. And at the same time, I'm gonna take the version number here, do a control C, and let's save this one and we can paste the version number up here. So now we get the formatting. Everything that is green are just comments and it's not gonna be used by the script. Let's put the author and I put myself here and date. And today is 12th August, wow. August 2021 for me while recording this and then we can do another comment where we just say uninstall Google Chrome 
And this could have been a one-liner, and then normally in Intune you don't actually need a script. We could have pasted this directly, we come to that later, but I prefer to have it as a script if you want to do extra stuff later. So, now let's come to the command. We can expand a bit on this command, so it's not it's possible this, this one could be silent, but to be really sure that it's silent and best practice is to add a forward slash QN, then we know it's silent. And I like to add a script, a uh, log file also, so forward slash L, and the path could be anything. It could be C Windows temp. I like to put it under program data, program data in my own folder, DBN logs. And let's name this backslash uninstall Google Chrome version number. I will paste it x64.log. And I put the quotation at the end. I need a quotation, double quotation at the beginning. But anyway, we're not going to use this line. We're going to copy in that into the PowerShell code. But if we run this in the CMD, that would totally work. So one thing to take in consideration here is that the program data GBN logs file doesn't exist by default on a Windows machine. So we must make sure that folder exists before running this command. If not, it can fail or it will fail if this folder doesn't exist. So let's verif let's start with that. So I'm going to do another comment, verify folder and I'll paste the name, exist if not create it. So how can we test that it exists? We can do an if statement and then a parenthesis and within there we can do a test path and then verify that this one exists. But we want to do the opposite if it doesn't exist. So I'm going to add an exclamation mark here which means uh, negative. So if it doesn't exist, if this folder doesn't exist, do what's between these two curly brackets. And we can do a new item. So we want to create a new item if this one doesn't exist. And then we can ask item type and it's going to be a directory. And where is it? Path. It's here. I'll put double quotation, which is actually not needed. There's no space in it. And let's force it. So this this line is going to make sure that if C program data GBN logs doesn't exist, it's going to create it. So that ensures the logging is going to work. Now let's go back here. So let's do uh, uh, start process. What should we start? Well, we're going to start msiexec.exe. And we have spoken a bit about msexec in previous videos, but if you have not followed along, I do a quick recap here. If we open a PowerShell command and then type msiexec.exe and then do forward slash question mark, we get to see all the switches that it support. And to uninstall here, you see it's a bit small maybe, it says forward slash x, and that's exactly what we're using. And you can called the MSI itself, we could have done that, or the product code. The product code is preferred. So if we go back here, it's exactly what we have here, uh, forward slash X and the product code. And then we added some other switches that was explained there as well. Then we add argument, argument list. What should we add in extra? Well, we wanna add, so this part we have already used, so I'll remove that. Let's copy in this. This is the argument list all the way except the double quotation. So I'm going to do control X and cut this and then going to paste it in here. Let's see. I'm going to zoom out a bit so it, we can see everything. There. Well, nearly. I want it bigger. Let's see if I can make it. No, I can't. Okay, there. So we start the process. What do we start? MSE exec. 
Then it wants some arguments. What are the arguments? It wants forward slash x for uninstall. What should it uninstall? This MSI GUI. And we want it totally silent. The Q is for silent. The N is for new uh, user interface. And as extra, not really needed, but I like to do log forward slash log, where to log it into this place. And again, this folder here is not native on Windows. So we have to be sure it's there. So we verify if the folder is not there, we create it. Now this file starts to look pretty good. Let's test run it and see if this actually will uninstall Google Chrome. Just verify that we have Google Chrome installed. Yes, we do. It's here. So to test run it, we'll go to our source folder, underscore Intune, Google Chrome and source. And here you can do Alt F on your keyboard, Alt plus F. And then you can type S for open Windows PowerShell and then A for open Windows PowerShell as administrator. Because we definitely have to be administrator to uninstall. So let's do, we do a dir this time. You can do an LS as well. And this time we want to run the uninstall. So let's do uh, dot for current correct, uh, current directory and backslash and un and then I'm gonna tab. Here it is. And I'm gonna move this one down, gonna minimize this and see if we can have C Chrome at the same time. For some reason that seems difficult to do. Let's put it this way and let's run our script and see if Chrome Actually, a good test is to have Chrome started to see if we need to kill it before uninstallation. Some software can't uninstall while it's running. Then you need to add an extra line to uh, kill the process first. When we are testing our PowerShell script uh, installer, we might get an error and that depends on which execution policy we have on our system. By default, it is restricted. So let me show here PowerShell. Let's run as administrator. So if I run get execution policy, it says it's restricted. That means it's not going to work. So if we go to our um, script, in tune and we have uh, Google Chrome and we have our source folder so if we go in here here we have a file so let's say I want to test install um, a, a script that we have done here the Google Chrome the install script and I run it I'm gonna get an error and the error gonna be cannot be loaded because running script is disabled on this system. And this is default on all Windows 10 system, unless you have a group policy or something else. And it's the recommended, that's good for security. What I'm doing temporary on my machine is that I'm changing that. So you can set execution policy to unrestricted. And I'm gonna do that yes to all. So now I'll clear this. If I now get execution policy, it's going to be unrestricted. And now if I would run this command, it would actually work. So we have Chrome started. Let's run this uninstallation command and see if it works. It's gone here and it's killed here. It looks to be a success. Our script worked. So a quick recap. We added the comments with a hash sign or hash pound sign. Then we looked if the log folder exists. If it doesn't, we create it. You could also use a folder that you always know exists like Windows backslash temp. And then we start the process, we run msc.exec, then we use forward slash x to uninstall, we add the GUI of the MSI, we do it quiet, and we log it. And it worked perfect. Great job. Thanks.